Good evening, everyone. How are you? How are you? I'm Jad, Johnny, Richard. Me. <laughs> <laughs> and in a bit of a silly mood just uh, put in the link in chat but I'm going to be up to his... Hey? Well, I'm assuming so. Why are you... I'm, I'm at at door. Chris, uh, Callum had his last week, Amjad, and his English last Thursday. Today were his last day at college. So that's it. That's all. Whatever it is, April. <laughs> I think 8th April, I think he goes back. But, yeah, um, <coughs> me and Tracy, we're going to bake tomorrow. But, one, Tracy told me that she got to do some shopping. And, two, plasters are coming in tomorrow. So, they'll be dust everywhere. So, yeah, we've sort of put on back burner. Maybe next week. I don't know yet. What, so like a, well... We were going to do like, um, yeah, oh, air fryer, like some muffins. So, yeah, so sort of, oh. you know, put it on back burn for a little bit. Hey, that was me. <sighs> so, anyway, links there. Should anyone want to come up? <laughs> well, it's a good job you've gone it back tonight anyway, because you might not be able to go in tomorrow. That's why I went in today. And Callum's been in and all. Oh dear. <laughs> You're not supposed to set fire to it, Johnny. You know, lightly browned. I need to bring kitchen utensils into your living room. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Oh. No, you lol for Tuesday, lol. Huh? Oh. Oh. Yeah. I get you now, Johnny. It means me. But anyway, set no set set five to some toast or for some toast or I don't know anyway I get what you mean Johnny but yeah we're hoping sort of um, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a bit slow on uptake Johnny <laughs> that was me yesterday though. With it at all yesterday, I think I'll just knack it. Hello, that's right. I'm just turning it sound up a bit. I turned it down a we, bit. You, you hey, can't wear, can't wear these crop things about socks. Can't wear these crocs about socks. Yeah, Tracy told me, told me to got like a pattern on bottom. Look. Right. Well, you're all right once you get used to them. Not bottom, look, like. <laughs> Yeah, Tracy said she told you to put some. Uh, uh, you get used Sorry, to they're it. Sorry, well. I dropped some dinner. I dropped some dinner on her. Wait to, uh, you it's know. Well, anyway, it's hard with gravy. <laughs> but <laughs> they do me feet a bit, so I've, I've, I can wear my socks though. Mm, if you have to wear socks with him, you have to wear socks with him. The fact that you're wearing them is, you know, yeah. It's got the four wheel drive bit. <laughs> four wheel drive. 
Yeah, we went 6 p.m. till 7. Swimming. I'm in the college on Wednesday because it's supported internship day. My class are doing a presentation in front of the audience, aka different class. Ooh. It's all right. Don't forget to get Tracy to film you doing a triple backflip with a 360 somersault there. Right. Mm. And that bar oh, thing, yeah. that bar thing's there to stop you from actually slipping out of them. What were you on about here? <laughs> on your Crocs, that bar that you pulled backwards. I that, know what it's for. Yeah. Well, I just thought I'd explain to a, a Croc virgin, you know, what it's there for. Right. <laughs> so to speak. Yeah. Well, I am actually currently wearing them. So. Good. Where did they stay? Hey, <laughs> eh? don't give me a quick flash there. <laughs> but uh, I, I, I don't know what it is about Monday. I, I don't know. I got up and I, I got a right croaky voice this morning. I just didn't feel on point this morning. I don't know. Yeah, Ooh, she were very quiet. It were all. What? <laughs> no, no, not this time. Go to bed. Yeah. It's flat anyway. It starts to worry when I get quiet, Johnny. So what's up with you? Bed. Oh, bed. Oh, I'm yeah, drunk you in in five minutes. Oh, it's yeah. bedtime. When do they break up, Johnny? Is it Thursday? Thursday. Don't take that. Come out of drown by Friday. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah. It goes from 0 0.9 meters the pull to 3.5 meters. <laughs> yeah, that shallow end, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> you get to 1.4 meters, and then I was, I was swimming on. I'm coming in a minute. I'm just saying hello. Don't push your luck today, you little shithead. That's politely putting it. Her attitude lately stinks. I'm not having it. She's got a lad in her class that just kicks off, throws chairs, does whatever he wants, paddies and all that, and she's seen it and thinking she can do it with us. No way. <laughs> That's it. Actions have consequences. And then they give it that crap. Oh, we, we just have to put the time out. But could you stop throwing chairs? You know, it's disrupting the class. <laughs> I mean, if there's a reason behind it, you know, get into well, bottom. Call it ADHD now. I used, to, I call it. I used to call it a little twat syndrome. But yeah, <laughs> but I, I, I mean, I look at it this way: Just you can't, up. you know, you can't sort of. I uh, kind of pull it um, because somebody's got ADHD <laughs> or a, a, a similar situation. You can't condone um. um you know, throwing things about. If he's in the main, he's really aggressive and all to teachers. It, it should be how he speaks to his mum. You know, but yeah, you know what I mean. Right. I think, well, you know, I roll his head off his shoulder. I'm old school, mate. I'll put with that shit. Hi, <laughs> Gary. Did I say hello, Gary? I can't. No, she's been told no twice tonight and absolutely stood by it. So she's fucking having a right good morning. But I just took her in bed with a stapler. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. And Richard has said hello, so I know he's not asleep. Although oh, he might have fell asleep there. He might have fell asleep in the meantime. Oh, but I yeah. Chair, <laughs> I'm gonna crock my way into the situation. <laughs> <laughs> Goes Crocs on Gary. So, um, yeah, just not looking forward to tomorrow. That's the main thing, you know, all oh, dust and, tomorrow. yeah, dust, all the dust and banging and clattering and the plastering, well, plasterboarding 
should I say. I don't know whether they're actually doing any plastering tomorrow, but yeah. Yeah, but they're going to, first things first, they can't put any plaster on until they've put plasterboard on. Well, I know one thing what we've got to do first, which we're probably going to be doing this afternoon, that wallpaper all that crap off. Whoa. They said what paper is to come off. So right, someone there were a, a few of them come round this morning, and I think I think it were like um. Hello. We we into the brightness. Well, no, I've just had a sheep dip. <laughs> well, 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 Make sure he didn't go to sleep tonight. <laughs> but yeah, uh, according to what Chris has just said, they've got to start stripping wallpaper off first before they can even plasterboard. Oh, yeah. I got uh, up in a right shit mood this morning. <laughs> shit mood. Yeah. Whoa. Like not not a depressed mood, but I I, I can't I can't I can't muster up any enthusiasm. If that makes no. sense. Like the chlorine don't half fluff you up, look. <laughs> <laughs> I did six till seven tonight, Richard. Yeah, I saw it. I saw it. I've seen it written. Where did you write it? I saw it written down somewhere. Written oh, down yeah. yeah. Yeah, I went to I went to Kipax one because the one near me is closed till the <laughs> bit Gary you're like an officer of the law on TikTok. <laughs> what what's what's this all about then, Richard? Are you been doing chunky <laughs> movies? <laughs> no, I would just at work. I'm messing about at work, and I, yeah. I just put a video on TikTok. Thought you've been doing kink, kinky movies. Oh, no, not that's not, not my size pool. Look. Not that. Not my look. Oh, yeah. You see where it drops off, can't you? <laughs> that's a deep bit. Yeah. But yeah, Chris said he's seen it. <laughs> yeah, I don't do TikTok, so why not see anybody's videos? No, so. I, I don't do really. I just mess about on it. I've only got I've got about eight videos on, I think, or seven. But yeah, I got up, Richard. I It'll could make not, your eyes water, did it? <laughs> my throat were, um, yeah, I could hardly speak. Always black coat and walkie talkie. <laughs> God forbid. I could be dragged through an edge. <laughs> on these back fucking hell <laughs> you're in her brush not me on the bad side are you hey up richard you know what the, you know what my mum used to do that's <laughs> 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 best day here jill hi partners how are you hello partners yeah i've I'd, I'd got no no Ooh. enthusiasm no, no enthusiasm this morning whatsoever. I said, I said to Tracy when I walked in, I said, can you wash me towel and shorts for uh, for Wednesday, please? <laughs> <laughs> and we go Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. There you go. There you go. I might go to one right. Mind you, one's only 10 minutes away. It, 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 yeah, I mean, the fact that you're enjoying it, Johnny, that makes... That makes it all. Uh, I don't need all no, I don't need things. You offer me a float, I said no. Hi, Kath. Hello, Kath. Oh, uh, yes, he's on, yeah. Yeah. Um, I delivered the first class yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> first class. <laughs> Just in time for a bloody husband to flood kitchen with washing machine. Just got back and he had towels all over the floor. She went, man. <laughs> oh, dear. You see, that's that's one thing about our bathroom, as it is now. We've had to put all, like, towels all over the floor when Callum and Chris and, and have had a bath because it's a wood floor and there's bloody nails sticking up in it. You know what I mean? No. <laughs> so we've had to, like, you know... Cover the floorboard. Well, it didn't floor got dogs of carpet grippers. <laughs> I've stood on carpet grippers. Oh. Like pieces oh. of wood. Yes. 
You know what I mean? Oh, it, oh my carpet grippers as well. When you stand on them, you pull your foot off it. The spikes are on an angle. Honestly, Johnny, it, it's doing my nutting. You know, all why is there dangling front ceilings? This a great hole at one end of the bathroom. You know what I mean? I, I, don't, I think this is this is the thing. Chris says, "Well, they haven't even been, you know, do it work a week." And I says, "Yeah, that's a week in long." Yeah. You should uh, work on one bit at a time rather than ripping the old damn thing out. Well, I think it's it's difficult when you're doing it like that because when you're pulling wires through and pipes, you know what I mean. It's, it's hard work. You've just got to put up with it, really, and you know. But I think I think what it is as well, Richard, they're working on everybody's in the row, and everybody yeah. in the row is at different stages. If that makes any sense, yeah. We don't need to know that, Chris. <laughs> He blocked his owl. <laughs> you know, my, sh my shower is not emptying as fast as it should. I noticed yeah. tonight. Oh, I was saying to Chris, you know, not only can you not open the door properly because this, you know, this toilet is about six foot away from wall, but the, fact, the, wall. But the fact of the matter is it's too low down, so it hurts my knees. Oh, so that no worse than a wall bog. No worse. Honestly, Richard. Honestly, there it is. is. Toilet being at an angle and you burn your fucking knees on radio. <laughs> <laughs> you should make bombs yeah. of like a dentist chair. You can bump a pedal and it goes up and down. In caravan, in caravan, Richard, right? The small toilet I couldn't bloody fit in and the bloody one I could fit in. Toilet were at an angle so you could sit down, but because my legs yeah. are long, I'm burning my knee up radio. Yeah. My knee is too much in the corner, you know what I mean? You've got to sort of thrust yourself into it. It's right in corner, you know what I mean? It's yeah, all right yeah, if you like yeah, twig it, you're laughing. But, uh, you know, you really got to park yourself against wall. This is the thing. There ain't nothing There ain't nothing right about it, if you know what I mean. Callum was saying this morning, because he went in bath, he says, um, he says, he says it's made my legs ache going in and out at bath. From the sounds of it, you're lucky to left your bath. <laughs> or is it a new bath? Is that the new it bath? Is a, it is a brand new bath because they said yeah. they couldn't leave us without like washing it's facilities. Yeah. So they so they've ripped toilet completely out and wash basin down here. So they, that's why that toilet is only temporary. I says to Chris, says, thank you for that. I'm glad it's not the proper thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'd be crippled by it end of the week, but oh god, yeah. I'm I, I can't wait for it to be over, honestly. A couple of weeks and you'll be right. So that's right, just for you, Matt, just for you. There you go, he's got his crocs on look. I can't wear them without socks, Richard. I just can't. I just can't do it. I'm uh, trying. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter. I wear mine sometimes with socks and sometimes without, but got since I've moved in here, I've never worn them. They've got like these little Yeah, bloody, yeah. They're like bloody acupuncture. Well, it, it's it's supposedly like a gripper to grip your feet, but yeah, people with sensitive feet, yeah, I can. I've got problems with my feet though. It's uh, it's more exfoliating than fucking gripping. <laughs> But, you know, everything about the bathroom at the moment, you know. Is extremely temporary. Hey, do you see our farmers? Exce yeah. Our, yeah. yeah. <laughs> our farmers is now do it, starting to do protests. 400 of them have turned up so far. They've totally blocked Parliament House at all the square. <laughs> <laughs> and all the people have seen turned it, up. seen it earlier on. And the got police like, are <laughs> absolutely stupid. Dumb. The police aren't even doing a damn thing and just keeping their trap shut. <laughs> you see what? Can't start on farmers. He says, police I can't like, start on the farmers. The I mean, like how our genetic order is on his last and he gets some first. We're still waiting the ours. Ours is not coming till Thursday. The right one to say that. No yeah, farmers, be, no food, no food. parcels you'll be getting on Thursday. You get your mystery parcel off me on Thursday. Mm. I forgot it's, all about that. It's, we're with you on Thursday. 
Ooh. It'll be sent out special delivery on Wednesday, so you'll get it Thursday, guaranteed. I've got a really big bag of uh, super growing. Well, you know, can you see excitement exuberating from me? You'll like it. You'll like it when you get it. You'll like it. I guarantee you that. It's something to look forward to, Richard. That's that's the main. Definitely to look forward to. Definitely. I need something to look forward to. Well, this is it. Just it's a box of dust masks. It's a box of dust masks. You get it. uh, You'll get it Thursday. This is the thing, Johnny. You know, when electrician come the other day and we're like cutting things out for um, sockets and whatever, he got a mask on. So I called Callum come in here and he went. It's a shame, we. <laughs> no, it's not a shame. <laughs> it better not be, I'll so wrap it round his head. No. <laughs> and he come in and he went, Why's that electrician wearing a mask? I says, Callum, I says, he's. Chopping out and everything. I says, can you magic dust? So, uh, so yeah, that would answer to that question. No, it's not the love buzz. I never thought <laughs> it. Actually, they were quite nice. I could have put that in parcel as well as an extra. The love buzz. <laughs> I'll send that another day. <laughs> can I wrap it around Chris's head? <laughs> it's not fun, I love. <laughs> no. You know what I mean? I'm dangerous with a weapon. Could chuck it deep end and say go for it. <laughs> uh, why did I book an old in October? I you know, that, you know, this chair I bought, this chair yeah. I sat on. Remember we're buying this chair about, about a month ago now, isn't it? Yeah. It, it was in a box and it was heavy as hell, the box. And I dragged it all the way upstairs and it I like sort of tied shrink wrap to it and tore it up like an Egyptian, like they used to take the <laughs> And I thought, God, it's you know, heavy is this box for a chair. And anyway, I thought out of it, and I've here I'm sat on it. And I went to and I looked in the box, and the bastards at work had thrown a lot of catalogues in it, you know, these thick catalogues. <laughs> What the fuck are these in here? I looked. Here <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that? No, what? Oh, I'd oh, had um a load of stuff upstairs, and I've now got to back down now. These bloody catalogues. <laughs> Check the CCTV, Richard. Revenge is sweet. <laughs> oh, I know. I you found out you never take that chair, mm. right? So it. it Come on, I've got for you. So wait, he says, I had to pull it upstairs, Egyptian style. And he says, I thought to myself, fucking hell, this is all heavy. Yeah. And he went to shift box and he looked and they'd put all catalogues every box catalogs. on it to make it more heavy. Catalogue, because <laughs> we get them delivered to work, these catalogues. Oh, we just throw them away, you know. You only need one of everything. So instead of throwing them away, my brother thought it were amusing to slide them through packaging into my box. <laughs> Probably going to wait tomorrow. Say you bastards. Well, I'm going to put one in his rucksack and see if he knows it. Let him take it home. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Oh, yeah, they haven't heard the last of this. I'll tell you. I don't know. Well, then Jimmy waits from him. From the I might even put one in the, post. The saga, the saga continues. I might <laughs> even put one in post, so when it goes to his house, he won't be in. So he'll get a, a card saying, come and collect your parcel, and he'll go to the delivery office and it'll be one of the catalogs. Because I thought, you know, when I was carrying up, I thought, God, it's heavy for a flicking chair. That's what I thought. Hey, it must be just the way it is, the metal in the chair, you know. And yesterday, I just happened to move the box. I thought, Christ, it's still heavy as this box. And I looked down in it and it was bloody catalogs in it, Herbal Hydraulics catalogs. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. You might have got away with it if it were Argos ones. <laughs> well, it was this morning I moved it. So when I got to work, I said, I said, that frigging box, I said it had flipping hydraulics catalogues in it. And that's it. Everybody were laughing. I said, right, well, who the hell's responsible for that? <laughs> <laughs> it is good that you can have a laugh You were probably work. wondering why it took you so long to realise that they're all in bottom of box. I thought, my God, I, I mean, I get the piss stuck. We have a... We have a a, a, a picture 
one of these electric picture frames with photos on and if somebody falls or trips up at work they go in the hall of shame because it gets you get you on cctv wherever you are you're on cctv so if somebody falls over they go on the picture frame and the video plays and you'll be sat there at dinner time and there's a video of you falling out well, i'm on it 13 times now i'm getting sick of it <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you triple it, you're the you're the you're the clumsiest of the lot. I'm just flipping. I can't believe it. I was watching it today. I'm like, freaking hell! I'm thirty. There's thirteen videos of me on this. <laughs> Either that, or they're just picking on you, Richard. We call it the Hall of Shame. If you fall over at our place, first thing you do is think, "I'm an era camera." Because if you are, you go in the Hall of Shame. <laughs> I'm sure about that. I like that. <laughs> You know, and we've got loads. We've got loads of other people, but not as many as me. There's one, and I don't know what I'm doing. <coughs> I pick up this big brick because we have a garden at Andy Car Park, and I picked up this right big rock to throw it across. But for some reason, I just didn't let go of it and went weird. <laughs> <laughs> There's another one. It was raining. I didn't want it drains were blocked, so I lifted this big man all up. Turned around, looked the other way, then walked back and felt went down the manhole. <laughs> and, <laughs> <still never did. laughs> and I just took the lid off it. Oh dear me. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. But yeah. that's what happens at our place. If you trip or you fall, you are in the hall of fame. There's no way out of it. There's only about there's only toilets, I think, where you, you're safe. You can fall in bugs and you won't be picked up by <laughs> people. They'll come looking for you if you, you know, if you're in there a long time. Yeah, but that, that, I think that's the only place where you're safe is bog. Oh, dear. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm certainly on it, am I? <laughs> Me, you'd be all of me if if, if I work there. <laughs> I'm oh, the yeah. person that can trip on a thin air. Oh yeah, oh, I don't believe I'm flipping loads of times. There's one where I get wrapped up in an airline and fall over. Oh dear. I bought a coffee grinder for 50p, I don't know why. I'm just piddling with it. Oh, tab is a coffee grinder. <laughs> just get some coffee now to grind. <laughs> yeah, I'm 50p. 50p. You know what it's end up boom saying? Every, somebody goes, everything 50p. All right. Well, all you've got to do, Johnny, is put some <laughs> coffee beans in the top. And... <laughs> I wasn't thinking coffee, but never mind. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've got these cameras. Yeah, I've seen them before. Yeah, I've got a baby one. Oh, so I've got the your mummy and daddy and the baby. Got the full size model A um, box brownie one, then I've got the junior one, and this one, the handy one. Look, it's got a little handle on it. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> I'll record that one. Did you say you bought a chill chest as well? Oh, yes, I put all my... Well, I filled it up. I took all <laughs> them chills that I, I put all my proper cartels that I use all the time. I put them into those drawers. I got a little uh, hi-fi as well. Mm. Little Sony one. With remote and everything, it's an old one, but 20 quid. Looks, looks brand new as well. See, mechanism on it, huh? Oh, yeah. Kodak. Real, real to real. Though. Bet they don't that, make one's got, that one's actually got a film in that one. I was going to say, I bet they don't make film for it anymore. No, oh, that's actually got it's a new film in it when I bought it at the book sale at the course. Yeah, I think you can still get it amazingly. Yeah, he's a professional photographer. He said, I've got yeah, yeah. pictures of it. Oh, and called, then when the reel's finished, yeah. I can send it to him. He'll print them for me. I want to. That's got his little handle as well. Because it's, it's got they've got more than one viewfinder, aren't they? In them, like yeah. two viewfinders. Yeah, one there. 
one on one on that side so you can get funny away. Really, cameras it's the one thing that we make and the, nothing's changed from the day they were invented right up to current days that exact same principle there's no difference you know what i mean it's something they can't bugger about with you know what i mean it's three things and that's as simple as that shutter aperture and iso and it's as simple as that and it's something they can't alter you know what i mean and that that's what it were like when the first camera were invented you know what i mean do they use them old-fashioned uh, flashes as well johnny no they're older than that <laughs> Yeah, I remember them flashing. Used the light used of and they used to explode, and then next one would go. You know, Roy no, used to go older than that. <laughs> Before that, I remember them. The glass figures sliding in top, and they went bang, one shot, bang, two shots. <laughs> I've got all three of them now. That one's actually got a proper film in that one. Yeah. Some proper film pictures when they're done look look nicer than digital photos. But you just don't know what you've took until you get it back from process. That's it. You know what I mean? You've got That's to wait, wait till you have them, have them printed out before you know. I have a film camera, and when I when I've used it, the photos are always better than digital. There's just more depth to them, but you don't know what you've took. You know, what I mean, it's not convenient, okay. is it? You know. Look at that <laughs> original little sticker in it. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> I like how old fashioned look. Red people, so you don't knock it film up with light. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> what were I going to say? I forgot now. We've got all three sizes in there. Yeah, that, that's the only good thing about digital photography, you know, that's got a lack of viewfinder on it. You can, act, you can actually yeah, see, you can see what, what you've done, can't yeah. you? I mean, obviously, yeah. it, it, film it's just not convenient, but when done right, the results are superb. Yeah. I know quite a few people who still use film cameras. You see, it's 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 um I mean I I inherited one off my mum and I think that one's I'm not sure what that's, that's a good as well. Yeah. yeah. It is a digital one. Yeah. Whether it still works or not. I mean, nowadays people just use phones, and our cameras on phones have come such a long way. Mm -hmm. I mean, flipping heck, that you just you, can, you can't beat it. Stabilization, it's just off the record. I just don't know how they do it. You know what I mean? How the frigging hell they do it? It amazes well, me. Well, fix it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they pack it into a phone so good, it's just beyond me. Oh. Well, it must have Jura selling it if it's just come on. <laughs> yes. <Yeah>. Smile. It's <laughs> a bit bright. Yeah, we're all there. Well, it still works. Yeah. I've got a, a video, I did a video, video camera in my, in my car boots and I went to I, the big, uh, what's it called? Now? I hardly ever use it and to, to buy it still now, it's it's over 500 quid if you had to buy the, it. The, the thing about this one boots. as well, there's like a, a, a thing on top and it's like an anti-shake thing. Yeah. So, you know, when you're taking photographs, it stops the shake. Yeah. But yeah, I mean... Uh, that that's one I I mean mum's been gone seven years now, so that that's sort of been in its thing for seven years. Yeah. I don't know whether it's got an SD card. The, anti, the stabilization now on these yeah, cameras. I, just, an SD card I don't in. know how they do it. I just do not know how they actually do it. And that, that's it's called a Kodak Easy Share C six one three. Yeah. But yeah. I mean I can't be doing with these fangled thing that's that Chris has got. <laughs> That's about my back. That that is, you know, pointing, take a picture, and that. That's it. Job the good in. It's amazing. You get lots of people like that. Like Chris has got a DSLR, but some people buy them and just leave it in automatic. You might as well not have it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, 
you know, yeah, you've got to use them to their full potential. That's it. I mean, same as I say, I'm no photographer and I just point at the subject, click, and that's it. That's it. You know what I mean? That's my. I'd like a, I'd like a full frame DSLR, but they're so bloody expensive. You know. But the thing is as well, Richard, when you start buying them cameras that Chris has got, yeah. if you're ever buying like lenses, yeah, lenses for this shot, lenses for that shot, you know what I mean? If I were buying one, if I were to, if somebody said to me tomorrow, buy a DSLR, I'd get a Sony one full frame. Because you can go to these car boot sales and all the old Minolta, Minolta, Konica and all that lot, they all fit on them because they bought yeah. them all. Sony but bought all them out. being Canon, he's, he's uh, very... We are having to buy converters, but yeah. Sony, they f there's loads of different ones to fit on Sony, loads of different brands. Because yeah, well, that's, that's down for all the companies. Up. Having a Canon, you've got to either, you know, you've got to either buy these converter things... And then you put your lens on, or yeah. you buy, you know, and they, uh, some on them, honestly, thousand pounds you're talking oh, about. Oh, easy, yeah, easy, yeah. And problem is, you see, the less glass they have in them, the more expensive they seem to go. You know what I mean? These prime lenses that don't move cost a fortune, but you're paying for quality of glass, you see. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, because zoom lenses, if you're people don't use a zoom lens to take quite high quality portraits because there's moving parts, so you get a bit of abbreviation or whatever they call it. But you know what I mean? The, the, the same as I say, there's expensive. so many lenses that Chris would like, yeah, you can't afford. No, they're just ridiculously priced, very, very expensive, especially yeah. with, with that cannon because you can't substitute anything. Them no. Canon, Canon cameras. No, your best places to go is car boot sales, and you see them on car boot sales cheap. It does. Uh, what's that site you go on, baby? I planted, for, can, I planted can, 40 can, cucumbers today. What? 40 yeah. cucumbers? Yeah. What's that site you go on? MPB or something? Uh, pardon me. That's Ten banana site. How many cucumbers you planted, Johnny? 40. 40, but into the, into the, the starting pots, man. Are you planning on having auto salads this summer? <laughs> I eat tons of salads. I, I really do. I eat loads. It's wonder he's not a I've salad. got five types of tomatoes. Uh, already on go. Uh, but yeah. Cauliflower, it, it's just like called MPB, and they do all. They do use cameras, they do use lenses. I'll put link in, let me just have a look. The mini greenhouse things, I'll just put them all in the front garden along the wall. <laughs> so it gets sun all day, my front garden. See you later, Amjad. No, no, it's Amjad. See you later, Amjad. Take care. Bye. When, when the weather's a bit better, I'm going to burn all that wood and that old fence in front, and then when I've cleared all that, I can... Uh, Turn that bit over, get some cabbages and all that growing. But this is the thing, they don't just sell your cameras, you can sell them your cameras that you don't, you know. Buy drones, Osmo Pockets. Oh, yeah. All sorts. Drones, cameras, GoPros, that might be a bit too long to put in. Bought 50 plant pots last night and I come today. That's I've used nearly all it's not put it in, in two messages, so I don't know. I don't know whether it's gonna work. No, it's worked. I've got it here. Oh. Yeah, there are all these big fancy vases on this boot oh, on this uh, stall, and he said, Oh, I'm closing now. Everything about <laughs> they said to me because <laughs> I just bought off him. He went, see all them big vases there, went, yeah. And he went, you can have them all for two quid. He said, all right, if you throw up boxing, you give it his big... <laughs> <laughs> it. it fitted those 40 pots in it. That's how big the box was. But now Tracy's got loads of big vases in there somewhere else. <laughs> From what about that big to like that? Yeah, she just needs something to pour in them now, Johnny. 
No, they're not the fa- they're them like t- fancy tulipy. Oh, they're nice actually. I couldn't resist the whole. Richard's <laughs> enthralled in that uh, MPB. I'm just looking right. at it now. Wow, some flipping serious prices on here. Woof. No. You've got to wheedle, oh. you know, you know. Oh, same as Chris says, they do drones, they do camera equipment, uh, you know, like GoPros and things like that. All manner of stuff, you know what I mean? Sony A9 Mark III, 5,900 quid. Oh, yeah, I'm glad I've sat down for that one. <laughs> <laughs> you, don't even get a, you don't even get a lens with that, that's a body only. Fuck, you know. Hasselblad, nine nine oh seven X, nine thousand. Well, I was coming out of it. Five pounds seventy. Nine thousand. No. I said, does my leads card get me a discount? Like, Excellent, Gary. Hit the notification. That's it. That's the one, Gary. My leads yeah. card is so old. I'll make sure I'm like, awake. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm doing my mum's shopping on Thursday anyway, so I'll be at her house till eight o'clock ish. Pardon me, but yeah, that that I mean, Chris has, um, I think he's bought a, a few lenses off there, used ones, like not brand new ones. Yeah, that card there's so old, it won't scan. <laughs> <laughs> I've only used it for the library. <laughs> I didn't see you can follow me on TikTok, Richard. Yeah. I saw you today, Callum. <laughs> That's quite cheap, is that? Sony A7, full frame. That's uh, 259 quid. That's cheap. That's about well, 800 know. quid in Argos. I've got no note about camera. About what in Argos? About 800 in Argos, is that? Full frame D- DSLRs are expensive because... There's no crop, they've got a full size sensor in them. Mm. You have to bookmark it, Richard. And Peru. Yeah. yeah. I want to see you good evening. But yeah, same as I say, that sort of Chris's go to thing if he decides he wants something new. You know what I mean? Sorry, Peter Andre, I mean. Peter <laughs> Andre. <laughs> What? Oh, there's some left. There is. That's Don't worry, Mrs. <coughs> so, yeah, it, it's quite a decent site. You've got to sort of, you know, know what you're looking for, if you know what I mean. Yeah, if Sony A7 with a lens in Jessup's, 1,900. Oh, yeah. That's twice what my car cost. <laughs> I've paid a lot less for a car than that many times. I've paid nine fifty. I paid for me. I said you want a thousand? Come on, not fifty quid off, tight ass. <laughs> so it's definitely going to need brakes. Went oh, the last person said that. I said, well, he had a freaking point. It's great when you brake. <laughs> but oh, that's just rust. I said, no, mate, that's called Dean's new pads. <laughs> They're not 50 quid off. I'll go get some new pads. I said, because it definitely needs them. Uh, turned out I needed new bloody uh, drop drop links a lot of time. No, sway arm buttons. That's what it was. That's what I needed. When you overstayed, it clunked. Clunk. See you later, Ram Chad. I am oh, dropping. This is good. The other one blew up last week. This one's clunking. Rooms <laughs> <laughs> like silk now. I think it was a new car on it, room. <laughs> it's full of fucking confetti at the moment. They bought two toys that when you open a packet, they would fucking love that confetti, you know. Oh. So now my car looks like it's been at a wedding. <laughs> You're looking forward to Friday so you can view the uh, the flat. Oh yeah, Friday. Yeah, is it twenty eighth on Thursday? It's twenty yeah, fifth yeah. today. 
Yeah, probably it probably will be Friday. I'll go. I'll have a look at it on Friday, and then if I'm having it, well, I'll have it from that day onwards. You know what I mean? Because I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll I'll have them both overlapping for a month, and I can sort of manoeuvre things at a leisurely pace. That's it. That's rather it. than having a big. You know when we moved here, big hoo ha in one day. We we sort of bought what we could fit in car, you know, a bit at a time. And then, like big things, we just got a removal. Well, what uh, I'll do is I'll get a bed, a new bed delivered and a new settee delivered because this settee is not mine. You see, we're already here. Yeah. Not that I want it anyway. I don't well, like you it. You can choose what you want then, okay? So I'll go to the settee shop and have a good bounce around on some settees. Do you think you'll need a, a, a table and chairs? No, I don't, well, I might do, I don't know. I'll see Excuse me, I'm just asking for some advice. Would you get carpet burns off this cord run? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, don't go with cord I mean, I'm just, I'm interested to see what bathroom's like, you know. And if it's crap, I'll get it, I'll have the bathroom changed into just a wet room. Because brother, the beauty of this is, we've been brother-in-laws, he won't give a shit what I do. That's it. You know, I can alter it or it, as, as much, you know, as I wanted to. But what? But the thing is, Richard, you're not decreasing its value if he ever decided to sell it. Yeah, he'd, yeah, he'd, he'd, never, sell he'd never sell it anywhere. Cause well, I know, I know. But what I'm saying is, a bit, you know, it's the whole. He'd have to sell the whole building because it's three flats. It is. Oh, it's a. It's a, what used to be a conservative club. Oh yeah. And he bought oh, the yeah, whole he like my flats, what used to be billiard room. <laughs> so I hope there's no ghosts in there. I hope I don't hear any balls clacking during night <laughs> over the meal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I saw her this and she came on Friday this week, Gary did clean her, and I saw her through my people. And she was very easy on the eye, I'll tell you. She looked about mid-twenties blonde. She had a, she was there with a cordless Henry. Cordless Henry. Hmm. Hosh, Hosh Henry. Yeah. <coughs> Richard yeah. thought, oh, I wish it were just the Uber. Well, in it, <laughs> in, 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 in a cleaner if he's, is, if he's in a ground floor flat. No, well, I mean, she, we don't have cleaning. She only she only does the outdoor area, the landing. Yeah. She doesn't do people's communal, flats. Communal bits. Yeah, that's it. I'd have to get. I'd have to keep my eye on something more. You know, <laughs> more assuring, mate. <laughs> but end of day, it's last scene. I mean, I think it'll be all right because he doesn't. It, the person who were in it before was just a girl, a woman on her own, so she's not going to have it like a shit all. I would have thought. And she's moving out to that flat that I'm looking at into one of his houses, so it's not like she's skypering. She's moving into one of his other properties. Yeah, so she's a good tenant then. So I think it'll be in good fettle. It's a weird building, I must admit. It's a funny building. It's like all glass fronted. The whole one wall is glass. You can see out top and it's got them louver blinds. You know what I mean? Mm. A bit like being in a fish tank almost. <laughs> So I don't know. I, I just don't know what it's going to be like. Has it got like a garden then, or no? It's got a front. Front. There's like a thing at front, like a a small concrete patio, if I can remember rightly, at the front. Because it's just a few little steps up into it, just like four yeah. steps, then it's a turn, and then four steps, and I presume the front door is there somewhere. I don't know. You see, it's better than forty-eight. Oh yeah, it's only only small and. Uh, I've only pr properly looked at it actually on Google Earth, <laughs> you know, because when I'm, I've been to my mum's, I, I've always just passed by and not forgot to look. So I actually looked at it the other day on Google Earth. But there is like a, a concrete sort of patio with like a wall thing, but it, it's it's on a busy main road, so it's not somewhere you'd really want to sit, you know. No. Be all right, I'll zoom in past all day long. Yeah, and the sun won't be in that position. I think the sun would be on the other side at night time anyway. You see, ours is 
really funny because we've got houses behind us and it only gets a certain amount of sun sunshine a day. Yeah. It's like it's like sheltered, if if that makes any sense. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, it's 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 in a weird it's a weird lo location. It's in a good location, but it's uh, it's a weird from outside it looks weird. Oh, doesn't you know you it doesn't look like the sort of thing you'd live in like yeah. like up uh, uh, because you see our, our garden goes up like that it's at an angle our garden is and then there's ours is here and person that's right behind us can hang their washing out and it's blowing all over its shank put on that and it's like you know what I mean? It's they not... sort of sheltering our garden and our patio with bad. Yeah, paddling pool out. Yeah, you're right there. I'm just trying to. <laughs> oh, dear. So I take it if it were a social club, it's got a big car park and all that then? No, it hasn't. There's no car park. I mean, from outside, it looks it looks crap from outside, actually. But I mean, that's probably what patio thing is up front. That probably used to be. That's crap. called inconspicuous. <laughs> oh, but half a flipping plaster when you look at it up front to come off wall, but just looks grubby outside. But so is everything on a ground level? Then is you like you like you are now? Yeah, like everything's on yeah, one everything's level. on one level. Yeah, yeah, it's it's. it's the, the, the club. I, I wish one of the other flats in the main building were up, were uh, come up because they are really luxury flats in the actual. So it's a conservative club. It's a big building with like a an annex on the side, which used to be the snooker room. Oh, and that, the, the, that, that's what you're having the annex. I'm having the annex on the side. Granny flat. Yeah, <laughs> the main building. The main building is cut into two flats upstairs and downstairs and they're absolutely ginormous they are they're, you know they're, they're ginormous but obviously i don't know how big this one is because from outside it looks pretty shit, to be honest but, <laughs> yeah, it looks like a garden shed <laughs> it does on google it does on google earth because when you're getting when, out of portal for you <laughs> But, uh, it looks bloody but that, That's it, Richard. Until you can be deceiving, though, can't it? Because yeah, I'm, I'm, until you've well, looked at it, yeah. you can't make a decision. I mean, same as Johnny's just said. Outside, I mean, look at Tardis. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it, 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 you might go in and you know this is this is. When I saw the, when I come to view this house, the back garden like Jurassic Park, right? There were fucking car engines, toilets, half a bath. A oh, lot just fucking dumped it back, but I saw how the size of it and I saw it, I thought it was flat as a pancake, so that's a good thing. Gary says exactly it will deter people. <coughs> I don't think no deters people because we've got like two local groups. Well, if it's coming up right, like this that's coming up wrong. What's that? I don't know. Where the hell are you there? And and, and and somebody called a bit of dress. So um long. a little well i mean yeah bastard trying all, yeah trying all car door handles at three o'clock in the morning and it only just down road and they've got them on cctv and somebody in the same group said that must be the same people that broke into my car uh took but rifled through glove box and um, took some. This is this is this is the thing. Change out it, you know, thing in middle. I thought, fuck. You know what I mean? But they've gone in. They've gone in glove box to see if they wrote a, a value in there, and it will like uh, it, it will it's like. A a bomb, it's the damage the bloody do getting into pop, it. Pop that up there now, Jeanette, if you can. And I'll show you, see there, hang on. 
That's my mum. That's where my mum lives. Can you see that's yeah. where my, that's my mum's yeah. front garden there, that white one. Yeah. And that's where the flat the flat oh, is. There. Oh, that'd be ah. Can you see? That's my mum's house there. No, that that's my mum's house. There, can't, you go, can't you go up again or to your mum's? No, it's that's two back alleys, is that they're separated by a massive big wall. Oh. But you see that's there. And that, yeah, the flats, that there's a conservative club, and there's yeah. the, the snooker rooms on the back. You see, it don't look too bad. Yeah, it just looks a bit grubby from outside. Well, I mean, it might have been, you know, an old Google Earth thing. No, it's not that old. It's March, like March, March twenty-three, a year ago. But uh, that's that's the dist that's where don't, it is. Don't you let you zoom into it then. Yeah, hang on, I'm going to do it now. There we are. Oh, there, that's the oh, actual conservative club, can you see? Yeah, yeah. It's it's not, not, yeah, an upstairs and a downstairs. The, the, um, the, 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 that's it, on the side there. Yeah. Uh, it's got look too bad. patio on the side, but it's... That plastic looks shit, but I presume he's had that done. You know, all they've done, though, is they've skimmed over Yorkshire Stone, haven't they? That's yeah, well, I think he's, do he's done that, because that's not like that now. Don't look a bad size though, Richard. Yeah, see, I wouldn't say it, it looks a bad size either. Definitely it there because it's there. It is, and that's your that's your entrance to it. No other one. I presume it's. I don't know. I, I can't really see a door. Yeah, unless it's you like outside, a car, or aren't you? Unless you go outside, because at back at the back of it, it's got a garage on back as well. You see. Mm. Hang on. But you can't see it on here. It's got a Gary jump back. Yeah. Can't zoom in, but can you drop down onto that middle street? You can just can see Gary jump back. Oh yeah. yeah. I'll tell you some of the nice big old buildings, them though, aren't they? Don't build them like that though. No. I didn't know you could go in back alleys on Google Earth. <laughs> I know my mum's been it's just... it's a road, isn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at people's backyards for Christ's sake. The and Google van must have gone up that Richard. The Google van must have gone up that. That got like a gate on it so you can nip out and nip up to your mum's suit. But... Yeah, but you can you see that's a, that behind this wall is one yeah. back, that's the back alley. Yeah, so, the back. so there's just there's just like a fence, isn't there? That's the ground. Can you see that's about the height of the ground on the second yeah. back alley? I'll show you if I go up my mum's street, just hang on. Get out, get out of here. I don't. I think that looks not too bad anyway. And if I'm he's done the front wall, anyway. too bad. I'd like my own place like that, where you just got your own steps up into your own place. That's like weird. That, that uh, when this photo were took, oh, was it going there? Yeah, there was a different vehicle then. Oh, way in it. That's that's my brother's pickup there. He must have been visiting my mum when that. That's his pickup there. So he must have been visiting her that day. September 21. But if I go up the back, you'll see what I mean about the back alleys. I'll go round and you'll get what I'm on about. I get up here. If I can get up this hill. Why is it not letting me go up here? Come on, you bastard. Can you see? <laughs> the back alleys are at different levels. Yeah. So yeah. you'd have to walk all the way down there and scoot round there, you see. Yeah. But if you look, you could just Oh, that's quite it's, it's, it's like ours, you know, we, it, it, there's like different sort of levels and we've got... So the housing are built into the, the ledge, ledge bit. <laughs> and that's, that's coming down the street from the other way. Can you see that's the club there, the conservative yeah. club? Uh, and that's two flats, is that ground floor and up floor? <laughs> two um, big flats. I think it looks all right, Richard. And they are massive flats, they are. Mm. Don't build them buildings like that anymore. Hey, that. We, 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 that old, you know, like it's got four windows, so we can tell it's massive. That's not bad. The underground, is that, it? That that's the billiard room. Yeah, it, originally when it went up for sale, it were up for four hundred thousand, and nobody bought it, and it kept coming down, coming down, and when it got to underground, he bought it. Yeah, it's maintenance costs, isn't it? It's, it's, if they don't sell, they've got... You know, he has loads of houses. And he rents them out. 
that's that's the thing that's the beauty of it is if you sit tight and know you know it's been up for sale for quite a while and nobody's biting you just sit tight and wait for them to so many pubs and clubs are going under though aren't it that's why there's so many big properties like that popping up isn't it? yeah that's the only thing i think about it what gary's just said you see you you, you're more likely to be broken into at ground level, whereas I'm up here, I have no chance of being broken into, you know what I mean? There's no burglar daft enough to do 48 step challenge. So now you could just have your a camera on your house pointing it and you just look at check it out. And no, back, back, yeah, back and Carberry because he's near me now, where I am now, Gary. Yeah, it's about 10 minutes drive from me now, where I am. Same as I say, you know, you just got to go and have a look at it. Correct. If if you if you're not, I'm mean, more interested in what it looks like on the inside. That's it. I mean, I can titivate it. outside. If you know what I mean? It. Just go, just you know, just, sort of keep your your mind open to things. And I think it's two bedroom as well, rather than one bedroom. It's two bedroom, I think. Spare one for me, and Chris. Yeah, I think it's two bedroom and one. Two bedroom, a bathroom, kitchen, and then like a um, big living room from what I can I tell. mean, it can't be so, so small if it's got two bedrooms. Oh, no. So I just don't know. I don't even know what door it's so going to be. So what do you with that back bit which shutters in? I don't know. I don't know what's in there. I might, I might fill that up with train set. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be awesome, that one, it could open the fucking door up, bro. Choo-choo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, I'll tell, like, when I go on Friday, I'll take a few snaps. Yeah. That's it. You, you oh, know, we love, we live, we love it, if, if you feel it's <laughs> not for you, then you've not lost anything, have you? No, no. no. You know I mean, what I mean? I mean, mum wants me to have it. She's got me then on the speed now, really then. Really <laughs> <good. laughs> My mum's dying for me to take it, and she knows she's only to pick up for that I'm two minutes away. <laughs> but, but I mean that that's sort of that's sort of by the by. If you don't think you're going to feel comfortable, oh no. Oh God, oh God. If you don't feel that you're going to be comfortable there, then you've not lost anything because you've not handed your notice in. Or oh, you no, know I'm, what not I mean? gonna, I'm not going to kick this one into touch until I decide on that one. You know, I'll have them both, I'll rent them both side by side for a month and then I can just move out of here at my leisure. Then I can sort of tell if, you know, internet and all the shit because of this gas and electric. Oh, yeah, because that's, that's all it takes. That can be a nonsense, yeah, yeah. changing all that over, you know what I mean? That can take time. be nice to have it all up and running before you moved, in it? Wouldn't that's it? the idea. <laughs> that's the idea, just so it's all ready to go when I actually move. But Gary says you can always bring a bag of washing round to your mum's to do, Richard. Correct, correct. I've thought that, but I, I've got a washing machine anyway, so I'm all right for that. But you just got to find somebody to fit oh, it. Okay. Yeah, I, well, I can, fitting it's not a problem, but it's just shit. I've not got that much. The only thing, big things I've got to move is my washing machine and my fridge. That's it. Mm-hmm. Everything. Everything else can go in my car boot. Man with a van just chuck it in. Yeah, back. it's a decent, uh, it'll be a decent sized boot on that. Yeah, I mean, well, it, I, I'm no problem getting a van. We've got loads of vans at work. I, we've got a pickup as well. <laughs> so oh, that's no problem. It's just dumping it down steps is the problem. Dumping that washer. That's it. Pay somebody to do it for you. Correct. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you don't want to put your back out there. Well, that's it. But uh, and it's nothing. You haven't got a major amount of stuff to take anyway, so it'd be a quick, easy. Cheap the only downside is I've been used to superb internet here, and I bet the internet's not as good there. Can't you do a check? You know, you do a check on I that. I don't even know the address of that place. I, I use my mum's postcode. I don't know what the address is for that. But I think it's called North Court House, but that's all I know. Well, what's your in- mum's internet? Oh, no, she won't have it, won't she? She hasn't got it. Internet. Uh, it about, she only had just normal talk, talk, cheap old thing, and that was about 30 meg with that. Mm-hmm. Whereas I get a gig here, a thousand meg, you know. 
think I'm on the back so I've got the uh, I've got that e backup mobile internet as well. I've got two I've got two boxes. Yeah, how you with BT? Yeah, yeah. Been with them for years. And I've got that BT Halo thing. And I'm plugged right. Yeah, I have. I'm plugged right into Halo thing now. Yeah. But I love this internet here. It's super. I'd run in caravan, but somebody put a cushion over it and fucking melted it. <laughs> and he used to have a little sleepover with it, bloody caravan. It fell off the shelf under the cushion. And when I got it out, Richard, it was still working, but it was the same shape as the actual circuit board and right were. <laughs> <laughs> it was more like a it more like a boomerang. <laughs> Literally the shape of the circuit board inside. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. But what I'll do, I'll do something different, Gary. You see, I'll I'll rip it all to pieces and do something different. So it'll be an excuse to do something different. You know what I mean? Perhaps do a bigger one. You know, that goes, you know, a real big one. I'll salvage everything I can off this, which most of it, I will be able to salvage. Some of it I'll have to throw away. But... Uh, Generally speaking, there'd be a bit of track I'll have to throw away because track's glued down. Mm. I'll be able to do something different. The track, fortunately, the track is the cheapest bit. <laughs> you know. Well, that's it. it. It sort of gives you a you blank. Got intersections and then redo the track. You are. Intersections. Do you know what's it? Is it on like four boards or something? Or something like it's on an eight before it is. Just one eight before oh, board. Eight board. Oh, right. It's that funny, that lightweight silver foil board. You know that lightweight. Oh yeah, board yeah, yeah. That they use for like insulation. So it's yeah, like that thing outside Kingspan. Yeah. Well, that's what I have because I can't obviously have to carry the board up here. Yeah. So <laughs> there was no way I was carrying an eight before lump of wood up. There was no chance. Uh, yeah, I can like get a blank canvas to. Oh, yeah. It's no know. problem doing it. No problem doing it again. I, there's lots of things that I wish I'd done with this one. You know, I should have done it digital and I didn't. Well, if I do it again, I'll do it digital. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'll give you. I'll, I'll give you a bigger chippy, Gary, next time round. <laughs> I don't want much. Yeah. At a sitting restaurant. Yeah, I'll put it out. Yeah, Gary's Chippy and Restaurant. Gary's Chippy and Cafe. I'll 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 knock some it up. You know what I mean? And I'll have Johnny's Junkyard. <laughs> I've been clearing out, thank you. <laughs> Johnny's recla reclamation specialist. Seven more fires and I should have got rid of all that one. <laughs> But one thing for sure, when I put the names oh, on, don't forget a, 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 a reclamation and tile specialist. Yeah. Uh, At least when I put the names on, they'll be straight. They won't be. Uh, 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 <laughs> you know I'm sure those Laura Ashley tiles I got. On Lolly. Sure on the really now. Yeah. Not like they've been done with a spot painting. <laughs> oh no. Oh dear. Jeanette's bakery will have to, you know, come to fruition. Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, if I do another one, I'll have water in it, a proper river in it. Ooh. Actual running water. And I'll have, I'll put some, you can buy things called Magnatrack. Yeah. Richard, for your cars, you, know. roof, you might have your own running up water. <laughs> yeah. Well, you can actually get little pumps and actually have proper running streams, you know what I mean? Rivers yeah, and canals yeah. and stuff. But one thing I will do is I'll get what they call it's called yeah, magnet track. Not just a hole with some blue stuff in it. No. <laughs> you can you can get some stuff, it's called magnet track, and you put it underneath so all your cars and buses and stuff actually drive around the streets, move around the streets. Ooh. You know? Ooh, I can Gary. Jeanette's patisserie. Patisserie, yeah, I'd see those one. Jeanette's bum. <laughs> <laughs> or Jeanette's paps. <laughs> or Jeanette's sugar rush. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you something. These pair of layers sugar rush when I do start baking again. <laughs> I'll, just, 
I need to put my apple pie in. I bet Callum <laughs> thinks he's on a fucking strict diet. No, I know. I had it last night. I've just had my tea, but it's just sat outside waiting to go in microwave. I said it's shouting tea to put a tea microwave. Yeah. We had apple pie actually yesterday. Yeah, Bramley oh, apple that, pie. Oh, that, that joint of beef. Oh. That what? We, 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 well, Chris, when he went to ask you, it was a great big massive joint like this. Pretty good. Oh, God, we're it. Anyway, so we cut it in half, put half it freezer, and we, I put other half it slow, well, Chris put other half it slow cooker. And it ran all Saturday night until Sunday afternoon. Oh, God, Richard, it just, it just melted in your mouth. When you put it in slow cooker, what else do you put in with it like? The grape granules and water. Is that it? Yeah. Well, I might try that in my thing that I've got, whatever the hell it is. Honestly, Richard, oh, it was gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And you, you, you see these you see these things like for pulled pork, it was just like that. Oh, I love that pulled pork. Oh, oh God, Richard, it honestly... We hadn't had beef for a long time. We, are, we sort of alternate between pork and chicken. Now, pork you can do in air fryer, but the chicken, when I order one, it's like an extra large one. So it's not fit in air fryer, so it has to be done in oven. Did you so get all that money back? Yeah. Oy. You know, when I when I, rung, I said I rung them that Monday. Bastards. <laughs> And I gave them what for? I was waiting, Richard. I was waiting. <laughs> and I says to him, I says, I says, talk about customer service. I says, what customer service? I says, you took the money out of my account. I says, and I've got nothing to show for it. I says, I think papers would love to hear this story, don't you? <laughs> be old after I get them a right in April, the money we in my account next day. So it just goes to show if you gave him a bollock in and, you know. Yeah, they should put it straight back in. I mean, it's ridiculous. Well, they says to me, three to five working days. I says, well, this makes me laugh. You take it out me account even before you've delivered shopping. They no. won't deliver your shopping until... Imagine you know, what they do, though. They get every customer's money together, hold it for, for like a couple of days extra in their bank accounts and then get it. Well, for that. Says, murder for that. I says to him, I says, look, I says, I'm 35 quid or 35 odd pound out of pocket, no groceries to show for it, and I've got to go out and rebuy that stuff. I says, and I need that money in my account so I can go and buy the stuff that never arrived. I, yeah. I, I, I really laid into him on, on Monday. Because, see, I had an email on Sunday saying... We've, oh, we've... I rang the DWP. I told her, you know I said to her? They didn't like it, Eve. I said, I'm changing what your definition of DWP. And they said, to what? I said, dim-witted people. No. <laughs> it's like the, the person you're in questioning, the child, the, the, you know, the information you want on this person, Christine Fisher, I'm unable to give you, as she's underage. She's not an employer idiot. She's a fucking girl she looks after. So they finally got it in the thick heads now. Yeah. So the reason it said Christine Fisher on the bank statement thing, and then it says P.A., Tracy. And that's so they knew what the money was that were going in the account. They wanted to, they wanted to send a form saying we need details on Christine's business, uh, when you started working for her. Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> <laughs> I can't give you information on Christine Fisher. She's only fifteen. I'm a bro. I'm a bro, I think. But yeah, you know. So said, why have to ring Childline? Why are you wanting information on the fifteen? This is the thing. If you go softly, softly on them, you get nowhere. But you know, if you start being a bit, well, not abusive, but you know what I mean. Saying, well. Yeah. I said you'd carry this on for three months and all you have to do is figure something out that Christine Fisher might be the girl that she's looking after. 
did did you cheekily ask if they were going to reimburse you for them two letters that they lost? Uh, they said they don't have any responsibility once it reaches the point of destination. So, so what you binned it then? <laughs> yeah, assertiveness. That's that's the word I was looking for, Gary. I but think that's then, great though for DWP. Dim witted people. <laughs> well, you're not far wrong, Johnny. You know what I mess. This is the thing. Unless you sort of talk slowly and explain it, I had to li that's literally how I had to speak to. Yeah, uh, that's what I'm saying. They don't understand you. But yeah, you've got to be very assertive. It's how when... abusive they, they're actually abusive with their letters. I think every time there's some kind of change in circumstances or. Information they require to threaten you if you don't respond within a certain time, they will stop your money. Why well, threaten that, that, that's that's the thing that they think they've got over you. And then they said it turns out if you've got two jobs, one working for Christine Fisher and one as a PA, it says on the bloody letter, you may receive one payment one week and not another. So don't they join the two together that she's actually the PA? It. Christy. I spoke to that David first that I've been dealing with before. He said as far as he was concerned, the information we handed over was enough. But when I mentioned that to him, he went, I said, well, I, I can't get involved with that because they don't want me to think it. But he says, yeah, it, it would be common sense to think that's a child. <laughs> yeah. We were about 13 when we started doing this. <laughs> We've been doing it a few years now. We did it before. We've always took Christine and Luke out for my mum. So my mum turned around and said, look, Trace, you you know, you should get paid for doing this. So become a PA. So that's what she did. PA? Personal assistant. <laughs> yeah, she said that on the thing as well. Christine Fisher, PA, Tracy. <laughs> they didn't figure that one out. Oh, my God. <laughs> Two I'd, I'd, you know where I'd, you know where I'd have turned around, Johnny, and said, "You know, do you have to be thick to work?" For the it? grand total of this entire fucking investigation was four hundred and sixty pounds. <laughs> you know what I mean? Pro Does, the, probably spent a hundred pounds, or you, you know, know, is it a necessity that you're thick? The set of trees worth for fucking letters. Ask it the same question. <laughs> Tell you, I don't think half, half of these folks is well, pissed off. Sure. Seven pound thirty five each, those letters cost the same. The found one lost the other, yeah. And all messing about, you know, I've got some forms some to what? fill here, and you know, I haven't got a pen to my name. Can you believe it? I'll send you a pen, Richard. I could, could have brought one home from work, but I just <laughs> I haven't got one anywhere in house. <laughs> I thought, freaking hell, unbelievable. You got one of them little betting ones where you push it down and the top goes off. <laughs> <laughs> nippy, be bet, nippy betting shot, pretend yeah. to, you're going go to put a bet you on, but, you know. You want, I, bet the, I bet they chain them down now. <laughs> Use that pens in our gas. I don't think they do that now, do they? <laughs> I can remember them little pens in our gas. Yeah. But this is no word of a lie. I mean, I'm with Barclays Bank. And you could go into Barclays and they'd have this box on counter full of pens. So we used to go in and Chris would say, I mean, a few of them. <laughs> That's what we're knocking about. We've got tons of Barclays. I must have one somewhere, but I, I was looking earlier on and I couldn't find one anywhere. I thought, I've got to have a pen somewhere. He's, in got, it. he's got a million of them. I have the same size as. Bloody mascot, look. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you know what I mean. It's it's um, it's got a million and one pair of glasses, but can't find a pen. No, oh. can't have one. Nice look. It looked nice, Johnny. It was well, nice. Can't have to say it's just the uh, seven. But uh. He give us a step in and everything. <laughs> he's, he's having a rummage now. See if I can. Oh, I am. But. Mm. 
I've got one here where I say <coughs> somebody, somebody bought me. It's not one of them you tip and she takes her clothes off, is it? No, that that's a no. It's one of those what you tip. All right, yeah, I know where you got that from. from. Yeah. One way you click it and it starts shouting. <laughs> that noise. My phone beeping. Oh. But yeah, that that's that's a pen that is certain somebody. Text oh. message off daughter. That means it's going to cost me money. <laughs> I get that. Same with mine, to be honest. I got them tiles over there, still don't know what I'm going to do with them. Go on, Bennett, Johnny. Laura Ashley tiles are the really expensive tiles. They look it. Oh, lots of them. Oh, yeah. There's different designs as well. There's not just them, do they? There's about 50 in that box, but they're only like strips. Um... So went, they're not going down in the kitchen as well, and I said, no. <laughs> for another project yeah i don't know what yeah I might put a proper floor down in that uh greenhouse and just tile along edges of them look nice wouldn't it by the time i finish it'll be probably a few broken tiles to dump down in there anyway <laughs> i mean when all said and done it's it's like only a greenhouse but you, yeah you know what i mean yeah it'd be nice if it had a proper little floor in it though yeah right. it's leveled in there it's the soil at the moment man. If I dig down enough, I know I hit clay anyway. <laughs> yeah. He did. That post I put in, I put in, it was a 13 foot post, and I put it three and a half foot into the ground. I was getting lost out, you know. I'll find it pottery. <laughs> I'll find it pottery, Richard. How that deep? Pottery. <laughs> I did look pretty little long painted places. Well, that's saying summer, you know, where they he nearly got lost in Owl. I went down through the soil layer, through the clay layer, through the like stone bits of been bits of pottery and shit. <laughs> My brother he did that. He dug a, a new fish pond at his house and it were a, he disappeared down the hole. When he'd actually finished digging it, you couldn't see him it were that deep. You couldn't see him well, that, at all. He, he, were, he was taller than him, he had to get out with a ladder. That garden ring I put that that hole. That's, that's another foot about, about another foot and a half. Deeper than that, just like built it up with stone floor in it. Got the garden really tidy at back. My new lawn's coming up, bro. I've ordered a big box of you know, the stuff like the council use the grass that grows really quick. <laughs> I've ordered a big, right big bag of it, enough to do 60 square meters. 60 square meters, yeah, that'll bloody do it, right. Yeah. The one in the one in Keener's garden, and that the grass is nice there. It's not gonna all swampy. We ain't had any sun long enough to free everything's swampy in it. <laughs> but yeah, you know it's uh Yeah, I have. Let's hope room's tall enough to, um, you know, feed Christmas tree. Yeah, I'll put one outside. Yeah, let's <laughs> stick it in a corner, yeah. Richard, out of way. Put, put lights on that front wall. Bring it up. <laughs> Thomas Stafford. Hey, there's there's a, a, a bit of a downfall oh, there, isn't it? If you, if you put a um, Christmas tree outside, somebody might be cough with it. <laughs> oh, it looks in that, it looks in that right area there. It's back, probably best area in Darwin, that. Oh, for God's sake. Fucking Pat, this is fucking RIP up there. Who's <laughs> Thomas <laughs> Stafford, boy? Let us yeah, in on that one. Who's Thomas Stafford? Yeah. We need more uh, info. Uh, <laughs> hey, that yeah. Ghostbusters movie were good, Richard. Really? The new well, Ghostbusters an astronaut. Movie. Yeah, yeah. Astronaut. Oh, no. No one oh. right. on him. Well, oh. about to know that one. <laughs> See, size of a popcorn thing you got. 
<laughs> Did you eat it all? She did, yeah. Okay, now. It were, you got a packet of Haribo, a drink, a tub, like a little tray of uh, popcorn, and then bloody M&M's on top of it. I don't, I've, I've cursed with popcorn. Me Ever since I went to Gran Canaria, and that magician refilled people's popcorn by magic, I don't go to hear it now. I think it's cursed. <laughs> In my head in that there was nobody in the seat next to me but the next seat there were a guy in there with his family he kept falling asleep fucking snoring <laughs> he was going to go the fucking loud bang noise or fucking jumped up <laughs> Bug, bugs me yeah. to this day he does that when you mention popcorn I'd have been there that. Johnny flicking popcorn at him oh now he did it thought fuck me Tracy's coming with me <laughs> When you, you see magicians on telly and shit like that, and you think, ah, it's just telly trickery. But when you see it with your own eyes, you think, how oh, the freaking hell has he done that? You know what I mean? He went up to this guy at next table to me. I, as soon as he went, that magician, I, I was going for my wallet. I thought, my God, this guy can do out. And Did he, you want he, Indian space landing? It looked like someone off a of Commodore 64. <laughs> yeah. I don't believe anybody has been near bloody moon me. Yeah. What were you saying, Richard? Guy on next table. Oh, yeah, in Grand Canary, this guy on next table, he had his empty pint glass and this bloke come, this magician, and he just wafted his hands around it and it filled up again. And I went, whoa. You know. <laughs> Can you fill mine up, please? No, I got out way of him. I thought he, he had powers to that fella. There was a woman there with popcorn and he refilled it. He, he scrunched the tub up and then put it back up again and give it a shake and it filled what? <laughs> Freaky. And it's when you, I see it on telly, I think, nah, bullshit, trickery. Yeah, it's got to be some, something to it, Richard. Wow. We went to that club, and some guy put a fucking nail up his, no well, up his nose, big nail. And he got this bloody girl on stage to put bloody nail out. And then, you know, them thermometer things you use for me, and it has a little thermometer, a little dial on top. You know, you know things yeah. to test it for me. Yeah. yeah. A big skewer with a temperature gauge thing on top. He stuck the them up, he's on a fucking nostril. Yeah, unbelievable. This guy he went up to a woman and he says, hold your finger out, and he touched her on the end of her finger like that. And she was sat on a stool and flipping legs at stool, her legs and everything come up and she floated. I went, Whoa, well, get me out of here. I can't go with this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm witchcrafting this boy, I'm going. <laughs> You see him on telly and I just think I tell me it's just camera trickery and all this shit, but when you yeah. see it with your own eyes in real life, you're thinking, how the friggin' hell are they doing that? Hey Tommy, how are we doing? I mean to fill he just come up to this bloke, put his arms around his glass and just did that up the glass and it filled up with beer again and it drunk started drinking it. Imagine going out of night out with him. <laughs> You don't need to buy one, Rand. Imagine if you'd have took him last week, Johnny, to Caravan. You'd have been in that club all night. And they still had to pay them prices once, though. <laughs> yeah, but just to get, you know, just take a glass in. <laughs> How does somebody do that? Like How does well, somebody do yeah. that? On telly, I can understand it because you can do out with video. But when you're there in real life watching it, you can't fool with I mean, even, even like on telly, when you see a make somebody disappear they bring this like thing up yeah. really, like a, a, a cloth oh, yeah. and then they drop it and they're gone but you know what i mean to do it without any you know what i mean yeah i just it was unbelievable absolutely unbelievable and he always oh, scrunched a, a woman's burger a woman had this burger thing like a mcdonald's but it were like a, a spanish version it weren't mcdonald's but something like that and he, he just flipping scrunched it up into bits, in bag and everything, tipped it out in bits. Then he got back, scrunched it up. Then he pulled it back into into some bit of a shape, and he went whoop like that. And there were another burger in bag. Oh, what? <laughs> and she had it. Yeah. She had it. It was a real one. She had it. Delivery driver. <laughs> but he did that live in front of people. How the frigging hell? And just to use random objects was 
Well, that's it. I mean, you know, it it, it, it ain't as if he sort of... I mean, I don't know. My assistant kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. This is the thing. A lot of magicians have people in audience. Yeah. Yeah, I understand that. I just don't know how he did it. You know, even even if he had some sort of pipe up his arm or something, and he had when he did, he had up his arm. Up his arm, but he had short sleeves on. You know, he was wearing a white shirt with short sleeves. It was a blistering hot day. It was Grand Canary. It was like going up for forty degrees, and everybody was sat outside in sun. And he he just come along. This chap, and I I, couldn't, I kept out of his way because I thought if he can do that kind of shit, he can magic your wallet away. That fella, you know what I mean. Look at that. Oh, no. Well, Dungy. Like the fact as well that, same as you say, got a short sleeve shirt on. Correct. Just a, probably another thing to prove to people that it weren't, you know, you know, it weren't, you know. It were unbelievable, it were. Unbelievable. What else did he do? He did, he did a few things, I can't remember what else he did, but. Just unbelievable, and I just could not believe what I was seeing. I was freaked out by him, freaked me out to it because I like a good magic act. But when you see it in your own, your own eyes, you're thinking, Whoa, how's he done that? <laughs> That's yeah. it, you know what I mean? It's not just so I was watching him like a hawk, me after he'd done that, and I couldn't see anything going untoward, you know. Rodley and Paul Daniels and Debbie McGee where he saws her in half or out like that, you know what I mean? <laughs> but this is the thing, I mean, you know, wouldn't you just like to know yeah, how I he would. did it? I would, because imagine going out, you'd never buy another pint if you knew how he did it. But this is the thing, I mean, the weird like certain documentaries made, um, Secrets of the Magicians, and they yeah. told you how they did some of these tricks but if you're a bona fide magician you're sworn to the magician's code yeah you can't but, reveal how it's done unbelievable uh, unbelievable but but yeah you know what i mean it's it's that that's the sort of thing where i'd be sat there thinking wonder how he's done that actually done that you know what i mean yeah so we've got it to my wallet. <laughs> I've put some money in instead. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, but yeah, you know what I mean? It, 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 that, that's the sort of thing that I'd be thinking. I'm thinking, how nah, possibly could he do that? You know what I mean? And you're thinking of all, you're thinking of all scenarios, how we could do it. Can you see the yeah. shorts? There were one as well in this place at night. He just come strolling in. Up this I know that's yeah. that, that's what Rich is talking about. He went, over, went over to somebody's party. Old people were, and he just walked in. This guy and he walked in off the street, and he took this guy's Panama hat and he held it up to everyone. You could see it was empty. Put it on the table, just wafted his arms about a bit, and a flipping white bird flew out of it. And he walked in off the street. I thought, where have you kept that bird? Where's that bird been? How have you produced a bird? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? You can't be walking around all night with a load of bird stuff down your kegs, can you? I mean, where did it come from? <laughs> Chris says there's, there's one or two uh, magic acts well, on yeah, YouTube, like and he that. says this guy walked into a cafe and, you know, went up to a couple and the cups were empty, and same as you say, he just went like that and the, co yeah. the coffee cups filled up. Yeah, my kids, they just, they just run me up to somebody texting. Are we going out for tea on Thursday? They do a good magic act. It's called My Freaking Money. They make that bit <laughs> And what's the special occasion Thursday? There is no special occasion. They must just feel like having me pay for the tea for a change. No. But you see, this is the thing. This is the... Uh, I know that you know. fish and chip Friday. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to call it Burger King Thursday. I'd, I'd, I'd love to know... <laughs> You know what I mean? I'd love to know the secrets, but obviously you're never going to find out the secrets because they're not allowed to tell you. Yeah, I don't know how they do it. It's beyond me. It really is. Good though, aren't they, Rich? 
Yeah, it really are. Very good. He were brilliant because he just wandered in and started doing all this shit. You know what I mean? And I, I, I would cops my looking at him. I honestly thought I were hallucinating, but I'd only had one pint, so I knew I weren't pissed. It was dinner time. Where they take a picture of uh, something, of a cup or something, or an apple or something, I don't know. And he like gets this picture, you know, apple, and pulls apple out of a cup, and it's about an apple. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Flip as he done there. Unbelievable. I just do not know. I, I, this, this guy just amazes me. He just walks up to this guy and he only had a, an inch of pint in his thing. And he put, but he didn't even touch the glass. He just put his hands around near it and just pulled his arms up and it was a full pint. Again. I went, what? You know, no, I'm going to do, don't you? I'm going to find him. I'm going to buy a little toy camper van. So turn that into a big one. Yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. No, I mean, like, I mean, when, when people. You know, talk about magic. <laughs> like, Tommy, a load of birds stuck down your cats. I'd stay at home. Well, I would, Tommy. If it, yeah. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, the thing with magicians, it goes right way back when, and they do card tricks and they tap at and with magic wand and, and all this crap. But that is taking it to like another new level. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's the, you know. The what uh, uh, you know of, of of a magic trick, you know, yeah. not just yeah, like yeah, big yeah, cards yeah. and pick a card out and mm. then he guesses it. I used to hate that guy who were on telly all the time. Him who used to walk through walls and stuff because it was just bullshit. It was just camera trickery. It was bullshit. You know what I mean? And yet, but when you see it with your own eyes, there. I don't know what you mean now because he, he got in that bloody box, didn't he? And oh, yeah, you yeah, that David. We called him, one of them David Blaine who used to go hanging around oh, him. Yeah. And other yeah. fella, David Copperfield, who used to walk through walls. I mean, it was just all camera trickery. You can do out for a camera. But this guy, I saw him with my own eyes in the flesh and it freaked me out. And I thought, stay clear of that chap because he can, if he can do that, he can easily have your wallet and you wouldn't know it. It was that, it was that magic. Thing with Tiger, what oh, was that? Who was that? Oh, used to be that David Blame were always on once upon a time. He's hung himself in a fish tank, didn't he? And all this shit. And yeah. it's just, I don't think that's magic. I think it's just bloody stupidity. I think that Copperfield, we use Dynamo. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. another one, Dynamo. And that Dynamo, Copperfield, yeah. he used to walk through walls and stuff. And I went, well, what are all the bullshit? Just camera trickery. You know, I'd want to be there and see him do it. It'd be it. like a crowded bloody restaurant. Oh, yeah, I'd, I'd, want, I'd want to be there and see it with my own eyes live. Whereas that chap, I, I was there and I was sat there. On the the table. <laughs> you know what I mean? I was sat there on the table and I saw it with my own eyes. So it really... I mean, they're, they're entirely closer than being sat on next table, is it, though, if you know what yeah, I mean? I can't believe it. And I'm watching the people who'd done the tricks on afterwards thinking, are they part of his act? You know what I mean? I'm watching where they went and everything, but they all left it separate because what the guy who got his pint refilled had his grandkid <laughs> with him. You know. And the woman with burger, and I woman, she couldn't eat, she took a bite at burger to make sure it was a burger, but she couldn't eat it because she just had one. <laughs> she got, got the one thing out. I felt like going on and saying, I'll have it. <laughs> <laughs> She'd only left a crust. <laughs> when you see it live, it's different. You know what I mean? Uh, I thought, my God, he is good. There you go. Thank you now. Uh, it's not like shoving 10 p in bottle around like that. They were good. Couldn't you give him a 10 pound note and ask him to make it a 50 pound note? Yeah. Uh, uh. So now if I could take your wallet and fucking. Make you forget you. I ever took it away. <laughs> yeah, that's why I I didn't go anywhere near him. Me when I saw that shit, because I thought this guy could do out. He's gonna out. pull out a fucking card machine. <laughs> oh yeah, you put in your wallet to be empty. <coughs> like a, what is it? A, like a Bangkok brothel with the the empty wallet. You put all your gear in a fucking in a, a locker. And while you're having your right, massage so or whatever you're wallet. having, they empty your wallet of all your notes and put forged ones in. That's what they do. I've knackered me. I've knackered my wallet. I need a new one. You've knackered your wallet. Yeah, it's all split. 
The zip bit got stuck, so I said to Tracy, hey, we'll zip this. You pulled fucking <laughs> the top Paul Daniels' hair was deaf or real. My pound coins are falling out, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying I keep my coins in my wallet as well. Chris does, but he's, he's really. just bought a new wallet and it's got like a compartment for your cars. It's got yeah. these little zip compartment for your cars. Same things. thing where I keep coins in my uh, see through thing with his, um, his driving license in. So I like these new ones that are ultra slim around, but you can't get for gold in them, though, can you? Couple of cards and that's it. Uh, yeah, they don't make wallets like they used to. They don't last. No. We see. We started. We started when Callum were at school because it's I don't like paying more than the tenner for anything. Richard. And then he got to pay for his dinner and everything. We used to give him a set amount every day. And the amount of wallets is lost. Oh, God, no, I'd never do that. Oh, no, that'd be the end of the world. No way. Well, <laughs> what I'm saying is Ooh. we'd buy them these, like, uh, with Velcro on it. Yeah. And we'd give them a set amount each day, and that has got to be his bus fare there, <laughs> his lunch, and then his bus fare back. And the amount of times that he's lost wallets yeah they weren't hadn't got any money in them Touch wood, i've never lost a wallet in my life ever i'd die i would if that happened i'd absolutely die <laughs> but yeah you know what i mean and it, but that's that's callum all or it, it it you know it, oh the amount of things that he's lost or people have pinched off him you know what i mean but yeah and that's why we'd never buy him a, a good wallet, if you know what I mean. It was just one of these fabric things with Velcro on it. And, yeah. yeah. A foul of £7.45. It was £8.91. I'll tell you something. You struggle to buy it now. We are press stood on. You know, we are a press stood clothes on. Chris, Chris is, the one that Chris has just bought, it's leather. Yeah, the big Velcro is going to last a lifetime. It's not any mechanism on it uh, at all. No. Yeah, I think Velcro is going to last forever. <laughs> I bought one in London years ago and it lasted me for yonks and it was right good. And I thought, I'm not going all the way to London for a wallet. <laughs> <laughs> but right. that's, you always get one particular wallet that lasts you for, for yeah. ages. Alexa, and Chris the same. And he says, Oh, he says, I'm, I'm going to buy me send a new wallet. He says, This has seen better days. Yeah. I put holes in pockets, so <laughs> not to have a play. I try and go cashless, but <laughs> and just have a thing that has cards. And I've tried that. I have one of these metal things that just you press a button and it flicks cards out. But I can't get away from cash. I try to. Yeah. <laughs> Tommy said, "Them Yorkshire wallets must last you years and years as they don't get used much." Not on me, they don't know. <laughs> Everybody else, yes. <laughs> But I don't know about anybody else, but Chris always likes to have his wallet and his like bank cards and his driving license and you know, um, it's same as it's got a, a zip zipper thing like a little patch that you put. Mine in. did until Tracy got hold of it. <laughs> See, I'm always worried that one day something crazy will happen. Some pillar will press a button somewhere in the world, and first thing that'll happen is the banks will shut. That's the first thing they'll go off banks and cash machines. Oh, definitely. Bug of this. That WEF keeps saying, oh, we're all prone to cyber. So I, like, yeah, I always like to have it. I've got some money in my wallet just in case of emergencies. Oh, there's this conspiracy theory. I have an emergency, emergency stuff. That, that all these cyber attacks and they down to Russia, China, and oh. they tried to bring Britain down, apparently. Rust on the wallet zip, yeah. Mm. Mine fell off. <laughs> Is it, bro? Yeah. yeah. You know, it would be up Sheep Creek without the paddle when, if all ATMs went down and banks and... Uh, the the shop should have, have a, cash, a stash so. just in case. A stash? <laughs> Never saw any money, so... You need to have a stash in your wallet just in case.
I have a stash, then I have another stash, and I have a very, very hidden stash, even though I forgot where I put it. <laughs> yeah, well, I would say when I used to live at home, I used to have it tucked in all sorts of nooks and crannies because when I left, I was scratching my head trying to remember where I'd hidden it. <laughs> <laughs> where I'd hidden it around the house in case of emergencies. <laughs> yeah. Why has he always been a shadow on this lampshade? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh... Why won't you let anybody else clean the ceiling fan? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Remember that on the on the falls where we were having that fucking poker match with Boise in flat. And he said, yeah. Where do you get that money from? He said, Somebody sent me it down the line. He fucking stuffed the money inside corn up, Paul. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, I love them old film uh, on the falls, we Chris knows them all. Don't matter how many times we still have a giggle. Who? On the falls. Brilliant. Brilliant. You were funny when he got that allotment. <laughs> Peckham Spring. <laughs> oh, I, that, I love that one. What about mm. Freddy the Frog? Yeah. And Rodney, go out and see if you can find... Go. What happened to him? He sat on the detonator. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, they were brilliant. I loved it. The one I like was when they got that satellite dish and they're all there on balcony. And this plane had gone wrong way. Can we tune in to the airport? The shout to Grandad, turn it off. <laughs> and then they had when it blow up, down, it back at van all exploding. That number, that number, running down the street. <laughs> Not to have the oh, those bought a new air fry cooking cookbook. <coughs> we are going to see some good recipes. That's my mum, Richard. You're who? My mum. Right. <laughs> that went over. I've got any pictures of my mum, actually. Not not recent. I've got old ones. Well, uh, it my wallet. What's left of my wallet? Anyway, I've got Keena when she was still when in the, the when they decorate. Then when they decorated uh, that Chinese restaurant, where did you get this paint uh, from? Into, into city yellow. <laughs> into city <laughs> yellow. In tunnel. Walking <laughs> in with sunglasses on. Oh, it's size size the the well. the coach it's size size of the and that were um when they went to Margate, weren't it? Isn't that what it were? Let me the fucking tins of paint of about five hundred mil. <laughs> I remember the chandeliers when he says, Right, go on undo it, and he rattled on the wrong one yeah. and two and smashed it on the floor. <laughs> Sausage and red pepper bake. Ooh. That sounds nice. That's, that can be on my that can be on my list order. <laughs> I've got uh today I went to the butchers, I got uh two packs of uh honey and black pepper sausages. <laughs> drink cup drink, we'll leave him is that one where it fell through bar? Yeah, all that would be brilliant. That actually weren't in the script, but oh, they kept yeah. it in because it was so funny. Yeah. He says, you've got to act cool, haven't you, with these with these, with these these chicks? And he goes, I'm playing through bar. <laughs> but yeah, that weren't meant to happen, but because it was so funny, they kept it in. Oh, and he goes, to those two women. Yeah. <laughs> he says, how, how do you spell Harren? She goes, capital A. <laughs> She goes, oh, like that is it? Beam me up, snotty. <laughs> <laughs> I like it when Trick when he says to Trigger, he says, uh, "So what they call it, baby?" He says, "Oh, they're naming it after Rodney." All oh, right, it's going to be called Dave, is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rodney, yeah, Dave. Okay. <laughs> Dave. When he even said to him, didn't he? he says, "Look, Trigger, why do you call me Dave? My name's Rodney." Oh, Rodney says, he says, yeah, Rodney says, okay, Dave. That's <laughs> that's that's from me, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tommy says he's just going to get his chicken nuggets and chips out of air fry. We're not all posh. Hello, Tracy. Hi, Tracy. I think she's finally got him to sleep. 
got but yeah, the, 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 that that bit where he fell through flap, it, it weren't supposed to happen. But it was that funny that that, that you know we. The Khaled kept... missed us when we picked Khaled up from nursery today. I can tell. <laughs> uh, we had him for a week. <laughs> Yeah, brilliant, brilliant series that. It's one of them you can watch time and time again and you know what's Chris, coming, but it's Chris still knows, makes you laugh. Chris knows everyone word for word. I've watched it. Um, I don't know whether you got your message, Tracy, but I says we're going to leave it for another week. The house so, is slightly destroyed. So. You know, what What we saying that, you'd, you know, you'd not been shopping or anything. I says, well, you know, we best sort of leave it probably till next week. You're never going to do a colander special. <laughs> but uh, you see, same as I said, Tracy, they're coming to uh, uh, pardon me. plasterboard and everything tomorrow, so there'll be a lot of dust around here. So I says, you know, I mean, you, you, you know, you can do it, but um, they've looked through walls and realised they've got another room. <laughs> No, they weren't. Uh, they weren't rude magazines. They were flipping able hydraulics, flipping catalogues. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll get them back. <laughs> Revenge is sweet. Don't you worry. Oh, Tracy, had been stitches earlier on. Yeah. About the about the about the chair saga. Yeah, unbelievable. He's how still, got, he's still got blocks lying about, and he says when he lifted it up them 48 steps, it were heavy. So we had to do like a pulley system. I did, yeah. And he says he went to the bedroom and looked in box and they'd put a load of... Oh, uh, no, I thought, what was it? A fucking train cash. <laughs> well, you know, big, thick catalogues, able hydraulics. What? How many were there? It's mine in them. How many did yeah, you put I in box this morning at seven o'clock this morning because it ripped me away and I shoved it in bedroom. I thought, Christ, it still feels heavy, this box. And I pumped up wrapping and there they were, bloody catalogues. <laughs> Maybe more like <laughs> Debbie <laughs> Does Dallas. <laughs> Debbie does... Got titles, doesn't he? Who's Debbie Does Dallas? Hey, I ain't got clothes. Where's Paul? Paul? Where she literally does Dallas. Oh, Dallas does a... Well, <laughs> see, Johnny and, yeah. and Chris knows. She's a re very big-titted uh, American woman. Friggin' hell, rest in peace, John Sullivan, Roger who? Roger Lloyd Pack, Leonard Pierce, Buster Merrifield and John Chalice. Right, they all... Uh, only fools and horses. John Sullivan with the guy oh, that... Oh, he, he, uh, he, he with the woke... Bloke oh, Chal and Chalice, he were bites him, weren't he? Yeah. He were, yeah, I liked him. Busted him out of the when they did that, uh, that green, green grass. When they moved to that farm. To oh, yeah. That, I like that. It was pretty good. Well, farmers were thick as shit. Hello, <laughs> Tracy. So you were like a safe cracker trying to get into Johnny's wallet. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear! Got more money than me. I paid bills today. I'm feeling sh uh, shafted from two directions. <laughs> I don't. My bills aren't until next Tuesday second. It's just me. Uh, car in, uh, rent and car insurance goes out on twenty eighth. Then I'm all paid for living. Yeah. Everything gets paid. I'm skinned, but everything gets paid. I'm probably paying if I take that flat, I'm gonna to have to pay double rent this week and next week. Don't the landlord is dead as well, eh? Oh yeah. Hey, he died quite early on though, didn't he? If you want you want him much. Youngish, yeah. Oh, Denzel's wife, yeah. And it's funny, isn't it? Two of the oldest, like David Jason, he's still going. <laughs> And Rodney, he's, Rodney, he's still going, isn't he? Yeah. He's gone to be on that Frasier. Well, it's a spin off of Frasier. Gone to America to do a. Like, remember that guy, Frasier? 
Mm. Yeah, I've heard of him, but he's gone to do a series with him. Oh, probably done it by now. Uh, no, they don't make comedies the same now. They're, they're, they're not the same. I mean, they've I, done the, they've done this remake of Open All Hours. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's got David Jason in it, but it's still not the same way. Not the same, is it? You, you just can't. Yeah, he's just just passed, he passed away as well. Once you were doing that as well. Uh, there's Gladys Emanuel. Yeah, Linda yeah, Barron. Yeah, she was called now. Linda Barron in real life, I think. Uh, and they're keeping up appearances. She's still alive, though. Correct, yeah. I'm, I'm, she, I'm watching an uh, uh, interview of a day with uh, William Shatner. He's 93, yeah. and you would not, not think you were 93 to look at him. I was reading about, there was something on Google about David Attenborough and he's 98. Yeah. Yeah, but he well, looks like Nobody will fill his shoes. Nobody. Shatter, don't look 98, though. <laughs> nobody will fill Attenborough's shoes, nobody. It'll be the it's, end of an it, era or that. It's like the two Ronnies. Yeah. You know, one Ronnie ain't no good without other one. Correct. I know they've both... Is Ronnie... Bo uh, Ronnie... Yeah, they've both gone there. Yeah. Um. Oh yeah, David Attenborough. Uh, they'll never, uh, they'll never replace him. People yeah, have... William Shatner, what a secret to long life. He said, "Good cigars, good whiskey, and good women." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't care what anybody says. I mean, it's like his missus is in her fifties, I think. Yeah, he's doing all right, isn't he? I've mm -hmm. no idea. She's about eighty. She must she's be knocking on. Yeah. Last time I saw her, we were in Benidorm when. When she went Benny doing the comedy, she was the hotel, the group manager, weren't she, John Collins? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's it's same as I say. It's like these old, you know, like let's say for instance the Wi Fi Do you yeah. know what it is? It proves that I've been funny, laughing a lot. Actually, you live longer. Ninety-four. <laughs> Thought you were in the eighties. True, isn't it? It's like her, her like like keeping up appearances. The shit she used to do in that, and she was knocking on when she was in that. She was in her 60s. Are you awesome? Are you? Diving on and off canal boats. Remember that one where she's in canal and she yeah, goes past yeah. her head and it drops all bloody mud on her. <laughs> but yeah, you know, I mean, like, why 5 0? I mean, nobody can, they've made a remake of that, but it's no. No, not not a, a you know not a, not a speck on, on the and old. The worst, movie. the worst remake I've ever seen of anything in my life has got to be Thunderbirds. Hello, Mr. Austin. When they did the new Thunderbirds, what a load of rubbish! It was just a cartoon. Yeah, that, that's what made Thunderbirds the proper figures that used to rock and roll. And, and see why why is is, is, is yeah, that's rock. what Thunderbirds were about, and they made it in a cartoon. What a load of crap! Looking Joe 90 spinning around a bit. Yeah. <laughs> I, I I introduced Keena to all older stuff, me. <laughs> but she must frag a rock on that. That woman that keeping up appearances, Patricia Rutledge. Ru 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 they when they filmed that Hetty Wainthrop, that were filmed in Darwin where I used to live, and they rented a friend of ours house, they did, and she got eight grand for it there. Huh? Eight thousand quid for one day's filming. Yeah, I'd yeah. lay on tea and crumpets. It's totally stripped it, all the furniture out and everything, all pictures off wall and everything, and put all their own furniture in on the ground floor, on downstairs. And she had to move out for a full day, but she got eight grand for it. And when she moved back in, everything was exactly as she'd left it. You know what I mean? Perfect. Yep, yeah, that'll yeah. be wrong with her, can you? Eight grand yeah. a day. Maybe it's only, day, only one day because her, her house and somebody else's house were used. There were a terraced house and a semi detached house that she used. <coughs> she used to watch that program, that Hetty Wainthrop, and she'd walk down the street in Darwin, turn a corner, and she was in Rottenstall. But only if you knew Rottenstall and Darwin would you know that. You know what I mean? She'd turn a corner and she was actually in Rottenstall for the rest of the street, but you wouldn't know that unless you knew the places. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she come out of a post office at Enemy Mum Street. There used to be a post office, and she come out of it, turn corner, and that should be a street called Blackpool Street. 
Well, she was actually on a street in Rotten Store when she took kind of, you know what I mean? Well, same as you say, unless you live there. That you, you wouldn't know that know. unless you live there. I mean, I spotted it straight away. I thought, what? She just come out of post office and she's 30 miles away. <laughs> <laughs> Must have been Doctor Who's TARDIS on corner. <laughs> oh, Happy Valley. Yeah. I drive through that area where Happy Valley's filmed quite a lot. Well, what's that? Is it a series? I don't know. It, uh, it's that Sarah Lancashire, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's that with Bridge and Elland and all that neck of woods, I think. She's a she's a copper, isn't she, I yeah. think. Is good she series, that. that. <laughs> a good Happy series Valley. with that. The Happy Valley, it was good. I don't watch it. Sheffield's came yeah, to fight Miss Full Monty. Yeah, and that other one with it, them, uh, them Asians, three lions. That was Sheffield as well, weren't it? Three, yeah. we call three lions with the with the blue, with the practicing bombing, and the blue one who sells. What is that? That bend it like yeah, Beckham, been, that girl, some, some that that news tonight. Were it on news? I don't know. Anyway, it's um, oh, she's a an American. Oh, I forgot what her name is now. And she's lost a lot of weight yet. Now, she did, uh, I don't know whether it was a series or a film, and our Callum says he's seen it. And, yeah, she's writing a, um, a biography, and apparently she starred in this thing with Barra Sashing... Bar yeah, him. Ali G. <laughs> yeah. Him that plays Ali G. Yeah. And apparently, what transpires is while they were filming it, they were having a relationship. Right. But because she's writing this autobiography, he's, you know, spitting feathers because he thinks it's going to come out that he, him and her were having... Oh, I forgot what her name is now. Uh, she's got long blonde hair. And she were you were really big, but she's lost a lot of weight. Oh, I forgot what her name is now. Do it that the gentleman Jack, that's uh Saran Jones, that one and all, isn't it? That used to amuse me, them films, then we bore that to the dictator and Grimsby, that Grimsby, God, it was so funny. <laughs> I'm, I'm, it's all right, I'm just, uh, Rebel okay, Wilson, her name is. Vanessa Feltz. <laughs> no, her name's Rebel Wilson. What she called Rebel 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 Wilson, her name is Rebel Wilson. Sasha Barra Cohen says Rebel Wilson's claims are dis dis demonstrably false. Oh, yeah, she's, she's Australian. I mean, yeah, she's Australian. Ah, she's lost a bit of brick, hasn't she? Yeah. Uh, I forgot where our Callum says name it thing where. It will be, she's basically uh, saying they were an asshole on set. Yeah. I mean, these are not exactly. Like really right. yeah. She's not. She's not the best looking, is she? Well, no, but I mean, he's no oil painting either, is he? No, but I mean, when you've got his money, it doesn't matter what you look like. She put in in a response to him. Sasha Baron Cohen is the asshole I am writing about because they were. She didn't actually come out with a name. Yeah. But now she has. I 
can't remember what it were they were they were filming. And that comes to us. Oh, I've seen that. Well, it's it's uh, the film they were. Oh, it was Grimsby. So much, yeah. Grimsby. That's the film she was in. She played the uh, the common council housewife, like in the in the uh, in the. Uh... Hello, Brissy. How are we doing? Hi, Brissy. How are you? She was like a a, a oh, right rough girl who lived in a council house, and she she lived with him. She played that part. But yeah, there's all this furore about. I thought, well, who gives a shit? She lived you know, in a state and she like portrayed, you know, she was portrayed as, you know. A bit rough around edges. Yeah. <laughs> Is that the word you were looking for, Richard? Yeah, yeah when they filmed Grim, that is a funny film, that Grimsby. Uh, oh, here she is. I've got a photo of it. Just hang on. It's yeah, because I, I, I forget. Callum said he'd seen it on Netflix, I think. It's just... I know who you're talking about. Just pop that up, Jeanette, and you'll see the picture of him in, in the actual play. Oh, that's them in the film. That's him, and that's her. He's lost a hell of a lot of weight, though, now. Yeah, that's the film. Called Grimsby. Really funny film, is that? Really funny. Really good. But, but yeah, you know what I mean? It's, oh, God. Who gives a shit? You know what I mean? Mm. The, 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 you know. That is a film to watch. Is if you like comedy, it's hilarious. <laughs> uh, but I do know since that then, she's lost a hell of a lot of weight. Oh, yeah, she has. But the problem is she looks older now. You know what I mean? Uh, I think all these, these when you, you lose a lot of weight, a lot of people, it ages them. You know what I mean? You look at that Adele, that singer, she's lost a lot of weight, but she looks older. You know, you know, you're not you shake the yeah. devil's finger. Yeah. She looks a lot older in face. But the, this this is another thing. How can I put it? If you made it and you're a big woman, then why, you know, why conform to everybody else and lose weight it? You know what I mean? Just because somebody's sort of, I don't know, let's say made a passing comment, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean. If, if you made it while you were a big woman, which Adele did, you know, etc. why, you know, why go, I don't know. Correct. I mean, she, most of her albums, she were big from on all of them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, hi, we were on about it earlier on. Hi, one of them this morning. Go do it with like a mop handle with a nail through it, trying to roll around in bed. <laughs> <laughs> I Callum was sat there, and because he, he was watching weather, and he says, "I thought it was summer, not spring." I says, "Well, you get spring, and then you get summer." So Chris says, yeah, we get an extra hour in bed. I went, no, you get an hour less in bed. I says, yeah. going forward, not back. He went, oh, shit. <laughs> I mean, to be in all fairness, you don't gain or lose anything in reality. It just feels that way. Yeah. But. Because what you lose in morning, you gain it back at night. But at least it makes it a bit lighter at night. That's the that's the thing. The only thing that you're gaining is it stays lighter longer at evening. Yeah. And look, luckily this this year, it's on a bank holiday weekend, so it doesn't affect anybody anyway. Or it works. <laughs> okay. so what Chris has thought. This is a knackered as it is without losing an hour. It's on Easter Sunday, isn't it? So it's it's a good day. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's it's like an extended bank holiday, isn't it? Because you're getting Friday off, which is Good Friday, and then the Easter Sunday's on the Sunday, and you're getting Monday as a bank holiday. And I'm off all I rest a week, happy days. <laughs> I'm off all next week. I booked Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday off, so I've all all hey. week off. 
if you like what you see on Friday, you might be able to just go out shopping. Yeah, well, I'll, if, if, I, if I decide I'm having it, I'll go and have a bounce on a few settees. <laughs> In yeah. a few beds. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Bed will be easy as long as it's a good tall bed. I don't want to low down bed. I don't want to low down settee either. You see, that, you see we aren't being a, like a memory foam. It's got like a great big thick layer like that. Plus it's on a base as well. And then it's got like another layer on top of that. Yeah. So it's like when I get into bed, I have to, you know, get momentum up to get my legs in bed. <laughs> my, mum, my mum has two big leather suites. Well, she has three. She has one in the front room and uh, two in the back room, big leather settees. But they're too low to the floor, you know what I mean? You get yeah. them, they, they eat you. And once yeah, you sat yeah. in them, you know you can't get back out it's like being, no, it, it, being a swear trap or something sort of, there's got to be enough <laughs> medium where you know it's not too low down to the floor but it's not too high and since we bought this memory foam you know i mean it's, it's, this old one weren't bad but it were one of these uh normal spring ones and my side were knackered yeah. so we invested in this memory foam but yeah You've got like a a base unit to it, yeah. and you've got mattress, you see. So you've got your base, and then you've got like a thick layer of, of foam, and then a thinner layer on top. Yeah. So it's like climbing up Rapunzel's tower when you well, get in bed. It's like when my mum gets on her settee, she falls into it, and I don't know how she does it. She'll have a bruise, she stands up, and just falls back into it, and she never spills a drop. I don't know how she does it. <laughs> Just falls back into the settee. Oh dear. Anyway, guys, I'm going to call it a night because I'm absolutely cream crackered. Okay, okay. And I will see you tomorrow evening. Yeah. Uh, I'll have to have a a talk with Tracy. See what's. I mean, we could always bring her up on on live stream. Come if Tracy's baking. Yeah. On panel. Yeah. Something different. Okay. So I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye. 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 I can't. Oh, shit. Um, I can't miss ending his favorite. Ha, ha, ha.